Welcome to Intest Thermal Solutions, home of Temtronic, Thermonix, and Sigma Systems. I'm Roger Campbell, Director of Operations, and today I'm going to take you on a factory tour. Come on in. Our facility is approximately 52,700 square feet. It was completely renovated for us in 2011. Two-thirds of the plant is dedicated to manufacturing, one-third to office area. We have 23 U.S. patents as well as foreign counterparts. Our most recent patent was issued in 2013 and we have additional patents pending. Let's head through the office and into the manufacturing space. Presently in our demonstration area, we have a minus 60C at three kilowatt air-cooled custom fabricated chiller, which we're running some engineering evaluation and qualification tests on. Now if you'd follow me, we'll take a walk and we'll go see the manufacturing floor. Once out into the production floor, the first office that you come to, that will be on your right, is that of our production manager and our head of quality. Both individuals reside out of the same office with the intent that we can ensure that both manufacturing and quality are always in direct communication with each other to ensure that any, and open, any issues that arrive get addressed immediately. I'd like to take a moment and review the bulletin boards you see here on your right. These boards display the statuses of some of our quality initiatives. We have a number of quality programs in place. They drive everything we do in manufacturing and help us to maintain high quality and constant improvement. We push our quality programs downstream to our key vendors to ensure that our supply chain maintains that same level of excellence. Collectively, these quality initiatives are the foundation of our ISO 9001 program. I'd like to take a brief moment here and just discuss one of the first bulletin boards we have set up on our manufacturing floor. This board displays the status of our in-house yellow tag program. This program gives every employee a voice to suggest improvements by filling out a yellow tag and submitting it. All tags are logged into a database where they will be tracked and acted upon. As we enter onto the production floor, I'd like to stop and take a look at the next metric board that we have posted. Yeah, as we go through the production floor tour, you'll see these posters are posted throughout the entire floor. On here, this is our internal factory metrics. Basically what you have here is uh, a set of graphs that track on a monthly basis captures and escapes that come out of each work center. As each sub-assembly is processed through each work center, it is accompanied by a routing sheet. This routing sheet tracks outgoing inspections as the assembly leaves a work center and an incoming inspection as the assembly arrives in the next work center. Any disparities found during this process are recorded and logged as escapes or captures. All this information is kept in a database that helps us identify any possible problems and prevent them from occurring in the future. At this point, I'd like us to take a walk down the center aisle here and let's head to receiving. This is basically where manufacturing starts. At our receiving department, our raw goods arrive. They are then processed into our ERP system. Those items which have been identified requiring incoming inspection are moved into the incoming inspection warehouse location. These parts are segregated and controlled there and remain in, in incoming inspection until such time that the incoming inspection process has been completed. Once completed, the parts are then moved into warehouse. Here in the storage area, we also have established metrics which similar to that which we have on the floor in relationship to quality issues. We have a cycle count program, you can see our bulletin board behind here, where we also track on a daily basis items which we count. From here, let's take a walk over to our sheet metal and machine shop. Our in-house sheet metal and machine shop give us the ability to produce materials for both our standard and highly customized designs. This flexible manufacturing process makes us efficient and fast at producing highly engineered, one-of-a-kind products. Next, we're going to head on over to our refrigeration assembly area. Here's where all our refrigeration products are built and tested. Our manufacturing process includes brazing, flushing, 
charging, inspecting, and qualification testing of all products. We take great pride in building refrigeration systems that do not leak. Part of ensuring this excellence is a vigorous inspection process on all braze joints. After the refrigeration system has completed all of its required qualification tests, it is moved on to the electromechanical assembly area. There are five electromechanical assembly stations, one each for thermal streams, controllers, chillers, chambers and platforms, and thermal chucks. These stations are where chassis and refrigeration units are integrated with controllers and electronics. Once built, these assemblies are delivered to our final test area and are eventually our final inspection area. In this final test area, all routing sheets are audited, all systems are tested against their specifications and run through a three to five day burn-in program. After the burn-in program, a final management audit process is performed on all equipment prior to being delivered to final inspection. Here in final inspection, the sales order is reviewed against the system and all test results are confirmed. Lastly, the system is visually inspected to ensure that it is in pristine condition before shipping. We'll finish our tour by leaving the manufacturing floor and re-entering the office area. This portion of the office area is for engineering and operations. Combining modern engineering methods and materials, our team develops reliable, high-performance systems. We are one of the few companies in the world to engineer minus 100 degrees Celsius mechanically cooled systems.